Hello and welcome to the HSW How Special Works Upgradable Cars Street Testing Series. So this is the first of, of maybe many, depending on uh, how popular it is. So we'll just take a look around the uh, Enter the MT. Um, very nice car. I, I do like the looks of it. Um, it's like incredibly compact and stuff. But yeah, let's uh, have a look inside the interior and particularly we'll start off with the engine at the back so we'll just give it a, give it the beans rev it up a bit you see the engine there the animation <laughs> just for the uh, air intake really tightening up the engine so it's uh, quite, quite a nice touch that um, interior there's not much to it uh, standard interior and just give it the beans again, rev it up a bit, hit that rev limit there with the flames coming out of the exhaust. It's always a, a nice sound, a nice feeling. Right, the first of three parts. Uh, this first one is straight down the, the highway, past Ford Sancudo and down to the beach. I'm absolutely pedal to the metal, flying, and I, I don't take off full acceleration at all. And I found it quite quite easy to drive and I found it uh, incredibly grippy uh, the grip on it is absolutely phenomenal but uh, obviously NPC is pending All right, I'll shut up and uh, let you enjoy this So this next bit is uh, road testing the twisty turny bits just to see how the car reacts so it's uh, it again it's got like I said before phenomenal grip uh, however if you do accelerate or, or turn uh, over bumps and stuff it can, it can get a bit twitchy at the back end not gonna lie uh, just hit a, hit a bit of street furniture where well, it wouldn't be me if we didn't so uh, I, I found it still really good and pleasant to drive uh, a bit bit more challenging than most cars I think it's got the bouncy flags or the advanced handling flags or whatever you call them but basically if you go over bumps and stuff it can react in, a, in an unusual manner <laughs> in a bit of a random manner so a bit more tricky to uh, control but yeah just lost a little bit of the back end but you can uh, it's a good thing about this car you can generally just accelerate out oh bit big slide there but you can just accelerate out of um, out of slides the, losing the back end a little bit but yeah generally I, I found it really really uh, fun to drive it was uh, really good uh, and quite challenging for someone of, of my sort of average driving ability right I'll let you uh, watch the rest of this in peace and I'll see you in a bit
So the last part of street testing is the J turn. So we'll go full speed in reverse and it completes the J turn quite easily there. And the next J turn we're going to try is a, a sort of short shift J turn, which is basically going backwards for a short period of time and see how it handles that. So yeah, not very good. <laughs> Probably due to its, uh, its level of phenomenal grip. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this first one. Um, if you want more, just leave comments and I'll do more. Take it easy, take care, and to ta for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it uh, a bit fun and informative. All right, guys. Cheers.